The devil's time is up. No longer can he bother me. Cause the creator of the universe, he's the father to me. And if it's transferable, my children's children shall be free. It's a new season. And it's a new day. Because a fresh anointing <laughs> is flowing my way. Good morning and welcome back to your spiritual sports segment on Rima. <laughs> Gospel Radio. Better than when you heard it the last time you heard it. I'm CJ. Here we go. The National Basketball Association had a plethora of games on the hard court last night as I run down the first five sets of scores as the Dallas Mavericks was led by O.J. Mayo. 26 points to topple the Philadelphia 76ers 107 to 100. The Milwaukee Bucks ushered to a 98-93 victory over the Indiana Pacers as Brandon Jennings was in fuego with 34 points. The Miami Heat withstood a 53 to 24 rebound disadvantage over the Minnesota Timberwolves and a late charge by the Wolves to notch the 103 to 92 win as Dwayne Wayne poured in 24 points while the Chicago Bulls took the Boston Celtics behind the woodshed and smacked them 100 to 89 as Joe King Noah played outside of his mind with his second career triple double of 11 points. 13 boards and 10 dimes and the Toronto Raptors snapped an 11 game road skid while outgunning the Cleveland Cavaliers 113 to 93 with 23 points from Jose Calderon and make sure you keep it locked for the second segment for round two of your NBA scores. Men's college basketball had six ranked games in action last night as fourth ranked Arizona Baptist Oral Roberts, 89 to 64, with 17 points of Mark Lyons. Seventh-ranked Ohio State cruised to a win over Winthrop, 65 to 55, as Deshaun Thomas put up 21 points. Ninth-ranked Kansas clobbered Richmond, 87 to 59, as Jeff Withy notched a double-double with 17 points and 13 rebounds. While 18th-ranked San Diego State punished, pummeled, and pounded. <laughs> Alliteration. I love it. Point Loma, 76 to 49, with 17 points from Xavier Thames. 23th ranked Michigan State defeated Bowling Green, 64 to 53, as the Spartans shot 48 percent from the field. And 25th ranked North Carolina State held off stubborn Stanford, 88 to 79, with the help of Lorenzo Brown's 24 points. For your NFL quick hits, New York Jets coach Rex Ryan made the first part of his quarterback decision late Monday night, informing Mark Sanchez he was benched, and on Tuesday, instead of promoting backup Tim Tebow, Ryan named third-string quarterback Greg McElroy, who was inactive in all but one game, as a starter Sunday against the San Diego Chargers. After making an appearance on the Dallas Cowboys sidelines last Sunday, nose tackle Josh Brent would not be permitted to be on the sideline for the remainder of the season. Team and league sources said Tuesday, the San Diego Chargers have placed running back Ryan Matthews, wide receiver Malcolm Floyd, and tackle Reggie Wells on season-ending injured reserve. One quick note on the collegiate gridiron, Utah State's Gary Anderson, who guided the Aggies to their first bowl victory in 19 years, will be named Wisconsin's new coach. Sources told ESPN, and finally, New York Giants receiver Victor Cruz has visited the home of Jack Pinto, the six-year-old Connecticut school victim who was buried in a replica Cruz jersey. I know you want to claim your share of $10,000 in cash and prizes next year, so what do you have to do? Well, make sure you have your F-A-C-E in the P-L-A-C-E as Rima Word Broadcasting celebrates six years on the air at their sixth annual Minister Gala. Get on the payment plan to secure your tickets now by logging on to RimaWordTV.info for more information. To catch archives of your spiritual sports segment, log on to my innovative blog site, cjsports.com, and make sure you're giving that follow on Twitter, at cjsports, and don't forget to like me on Facebook, at cj at. Stay tuned for more updates on your next spiritual sports segment, where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed, and keep smiling, because God has something special in store for you.